some of our belongings to arrive in one piece. This has definitely got to be some sort of sign. I mean, nobody wants to go, not even the car. Let's just try, OK? Once we get settled in, you'll love it. Look, open spaces, trees, no smog, fresh air. Mum, there's a dead kangaroo and it really stinks. I think it's been hit by a car. So much for the fresh air. Oh, please don't go near that. Oh, gross. Come on, let's get away from here. I can't believe we traded Melbourne for this. Maybe it's a dream. Hey, hit me, B. Okay. Oh! I guess not. Mum, will we have the same TV here? I don't think so, sweetie. That's it. I'm gonna die. 33, 35. That one there, 37. This is it. This is where we're gonna be living. You sure you got the right street, B? It's going to be lovely. Night, B. Luke, I'd rather you didn't fill Phoebe's head with ideas of going back. This is our new home. Mum, it's a Higgs town. They don't even have anchovies. Just give it a chance. You'll make new friends here. I had perfectly good friends in Melbourne. Well, I think good is a slight distortion of the truth. Well, at least they weren't a bunch of drop kicks. I mean, no wonder the removalists haven't arrived. They probably can't find us on a map. Maybe they could bring us some anchovies. Wow, a circus. Mom, Mom, there's a circus in town. Mom, a circus. We're not going to any circus. T-shirts available after the show. Now, I, I owe you 15. I'm sure I'd change it here somewhere. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. This is very special. I'll give you this T-shirt. It's a con, Mum. Let's go. We don't want to watch a bunch of mangy animals jump through hoops anyway. They're not animals, mate. They're kids. Don't worry about my brother. He's just a big grump. Simo! Crikey's, hurry up and get changed. The show's about to start. Go, now! Now! Sorry. OK. One adult, two kids. Uh, we've actually paid and we're waiting for change. $15. Simo! This is amazing. It's standing room only. Isn't it great? Oh, I think I just got a bad attack of butterflies. Oh, why does this have to happen to me? All the frills. I look like a giant meringue. Oh. And then what'd you make it so tight? I can hardly breathe in here. Well, maybe you shouldn't have stuffed yourself with a third hamburger. JJ, I've forgotten. Is it three four rolls and then the handstand? Is it only two rolls? Three. Don't worry, Jerry. I have all perfectly memorized. Do what I do. Not this time. Next show. Five minute call, everyone. Five minutes. Okay. Make it quick, we're running late. OK, all right, my little chickens. <laughs> this is the time we've been all waiting for. Huh? All the sweat, all the hard work, all the arguments with me. <laughs> now, let's go out there and show them what the Wayama kids can do. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. All right, take a leg, everybody. Off you go. Quick. Come on, Jerry. 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 Come on, Miracles where you're squirming and wriggling. I can't help it. The butterflies just turn into a great pile of worms. Donna, you need to be ready. Okay. Okay, how do I look? Fabulous. They're gonna love me. Wish me luck. 
Not from dead, Donna. Just for once, I wish I could have that confidence. I'm impressed. It was him! Big mouth. Who is that guy? Is he local? Do you know him? Never seen him before. He's kind of cute. In a weird sort of way. Not that Donald Douglas. What did you think? Donna, as usual, you were fantastic. No, the guy. Who is he? You've got to pick him for your stooge. He's so cute. In a weird sort of way. Remember what I taught you, yes? And don't forget your compliments. Three forward rolls in the handstand. Three forward rolls in the handstand. Not this time, my little mate. Let's see. So your responsibility, are you sure you said it? It was right there. There you go, it's right here, don't worry about it. Oh, where was it? Just don't worry, come on, go, go, go. Uh, wait, Charlie! <laughs> <sighs> She's got the wrong bucket. I oh, know. We'll join the circus and be famous flyers. Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up, B. I don't think we'll be here that long. I wish Dad could have seen the show. I miss him already. I miss him too, B. is invincible. Great grasshopper is an insect who'll get squished if he doesn't feed the chooks. I did it yesterday. And you're going to do it today as well. Charlie, that drain behind the grain shed is still blocked. Now, two days ago, you promised... Dad, I'll do it later. I'm supposed to meet the circus kids. Charlie, I'll put up with this circus business so long as it doesn't interfere with your duties Tomorrow, around this place. Dad, I promise. Now, Charlie, end of conversation. Oh. <laughs> 
magnificent. Out of bed. Come on. Mm. Woo! Right. Bag, lunch, laptop. I am sure there's a weird smell in this house. Oh, Luke, if the removal is phoned, tell them they are dead if they don't deliver by tonight. Okay. Right? How do I look? Nervous. Thanks, sweetheart. Oh, and Luke, don't forget to clean out the kitchen. I bought some garbage bags and look after B. Bye. Like I'm dead, Mum. <sighs> the chooks for a whole week if you do the drain. Dad asked you to do it. It doesn't matter who actually cleans out the slop as long as it's done before the next storm. Not worth it. <coughs> All right. Two weeks. <sighs> wow, it's a beauty. Just the right size. Far as melons go, perfect melon for the mission. Thanks, Pablo. And remember, not a word. Shh. Don't worry, my little compatriots. My lips are sealed. Donna, I honestly don't know. Come on, Tony, don't you remember? Something significant about this weekend? This coming weekend? No, next weekend. Yeah, definitely. My soccer camp, right? I told you about it. Sorry, I'm late. Just had to strike a deal with the devil. It's been three months, and guess who's forgotten? Typical boy. There's certain dates you just don't forget, and the date of your first kiss is one of them. Tony won't forget. He knows his life wouldn't be worth living. Maybe you could talk to him, drop a few subtle hints. Sorry, I thought I might try and find that new guy, see if he would like a couple of free tickets to our final show. <laughs> Felicity Charleston, you're interested in him. I am not, and don't give me that look. <laughs> you are too. I'm just trying to be nice. And don't call me Felicity. You know, I hate that. Besides, I don't know where he lives. Well... Just so happens. He's from Melbourne. He's apparently moved up here to stay. His mum's the new physio in the hospital and they live in the old Harrison house. And he likes pizza. So... Oh, wow, that's amazing. It's got maggots and everything. That is disgusting. That is one ginormous dead rat. Maybe it's a cat or a possum. Wonder what it died from. Boredom, probably. Look, I really don't think you should talk like that. Maybe we could join the circus. I'm not joining the circus. Will you stop pestering me? i got a dead rat to deal with. Okay, but maybe you should just try, for Mum's sake. It is a well-known fact that I'm a champion watermelon seed spitter. I bet you I can spit them further than you guys. Craig, we are not going to eat this melon. So keep your beady little eyes off it. Hey, I know you. You're the kids from the show. You had the smoky pants and you were... I thought you were really good. Gee, thanks. Yes, I did think it was one of our better performances. I wasn't in it very much. But that's because I'm training for a new special daredevil act. Do you think I could join? I can't do very much, but I'm a really fast learner. Believe me, if Cray can be in it, anyone can. And we're always looking for new kids. Hey... Why don't you come with us now for our secret experiment? Jerry, it won't be a secret if we tell everyone. Oh, can I please? I'm really good at keeping secrets and I'm also really good at pulling a billy cart. Me too! Well, if we're going to make history, I suppose we could do with an official photographer. Do we get to eat the melon after the secret experiment? Shut up, Craig. Babe, I need another garbage bag. Babe? B, can you get that? Probably a removalist. Hi. Um, remember me? Yeah, hi. I hope that's not because of me. I mean, oh. I promise I didn't come to throw anything. No, I was just doing a little bit of pest exterminate. Well, pest removal, really. It was kind of already exterminated. You got big rats in this town. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to um, give you tickets to our last show. You know, to make up for yesterday. The free and everything. Hey, thanks. That's really nice of you. Uh, Bea will go away if she hasn't shut up about the show. B, we got a surprise. Kez, hi. I was wondering. Oh, JJ, what is it? I'm late for a council meeting. 
Well, there are a couple of moments I want to rehearse for our next performance. Oh, all right. OK. Well, here. But no funny business. And keep this door locked if you're going to be down the back, OK? Mm -hmm. All right. Be back in half an hour. Baby, this isn't funny anymore. Where are you? B? Did you guys have a fight or something? No, of course not. Well, or maybe just a little one. I yelled at her. She's just a kid and she misses her dad and stuff. So, is he dead? Your dad? No, he's still in Melbourne. That's what parents call a break for the best because of unresolved differences. Oh. Well, maybe Phoebe's gone to where your mother works. She doesn't know where it is. I mean, she doesn't know anyone in this town. Well, she can't have gone far. I hope you look for her. Anything's happened to her. She's only little. We've got to find her. And I'll have some pineapple, double cheese, bacon. Oh, you better make that a jumbo burger. Hey, Matt, I need your help. So join the queue. I'm looking for my little... Hold on, I'm serving someone. They can wait. I'm looking for wait. my little... Get your hands off me. You can wait your turn like everyone else. My sister, has she been in here? I don't know. Does it look like I keep a list? Hey, Tony, give the guy a chat. His little sister, Phoebe, she took off from the house. I didn't know. Come on, waste of time here. And if she comes in, keep her here. What? Can I be treat with that? I was right about the size of the rats in this town. Don't worry about Tony. He'll get over it. Maybe we should check back at the house. Yeah, or at least let me know. Yeah. Come on. Wow, that's amazing. This is the big secret. It's nothing like I expected. No, it's quite spectacular. What is it? Our ticket to our very own act. And by our, Craig, she means two, not three. So don't get any bright ideas. Wow, your very own act. After a successful test firing, Kaz will be begging us. Top billing, I would think. Presenting Julius Johnson's human cannon. So, um, who gets to be a test pilot? Maybe I better call Mum. Oh, is she going to be wild? We moved here because she wanted to keep me out of trouble. Not a good start, is it? Maybe Phoebe's just hiding. Not me. She wouldn't do that. Hey, I've got a ten-year-old brother. I know exactly what kind of torture they can inflict. So what did you fight about? Something dumb. Usually is. What? Nothing, really. The circus. She get pestering me about wanting to join up. Does Phoebe like watermelon? What? Earlier, JJ and Jerry were at the cafe. Probably up to no good if they tried to form. Come on, the factory. It's not far from here. Whoa. Test pilot ready, JJ. 17, 18, 19. Right. According to my calculations, combining the angle of the trajectory and the precise velocity of the test pilot... What language is he talking? Our melon will land precisely here. Craig, adjust the crash mat, if you please. This is going to be so cool. Melon in position, JJ, and standing by. Wow, it's a very tight fit. Dude. Is that the trigger? Nothing and no. Now leave it alone. Can I wind that? You can keep your sticky little fingers off it. Now go and stand over there. Boy. Now all I have to do is pull this firing lever. Now can I do it? No. Then there's a big dramatic countdown. Can I do the countdown? Craig, you can't count that high. I can too. Stand by everyone. Wait. Every great invent has to get a photo in front of his invention. And I can send a copy to my dad. Hey, I know. I'll hop inside. No, you will not. Wait, Charlie. What are we worrying about? I mean, what harm can they do with an ordinary old watermelon? I don't want to worry you or anything, but JJ does kind of have a history of... Of what? Causing disasters. <gasps> OK, everybody, get ready. This one's especially for your dad, Phoebe. Ready. Don't know why she gets to be in the cannon. It was my idea. OK, everybody, into positions. Smile, everyone. Say spot, everyone. We're not meant to be in the shot. I am too. Oh, can't he stay? See? We'll move over then. You shove up, move. Ah! You're such a pest. What? I never touched the thing. The firing leave, you clown. Phoebe, quickly, get out of there. 
You idiot, Craig. You just had to fiddle, didn't you? What's the big deal? Why don't you just turn it off? You guys, I don't want to worry you, but I think I'm stuck. What? JJ, do something. Phoebe, quickly get out of there. Yeah, do something, JJ. What are you waiting for? Hurry up. Turn it off. I can't turn it off. That's just typical. He always forgets something. I do not. Then where's the off switch? Well, every great inventor has the occasional setback. Would you guys stop arguing and help me get her out of here before she's launched into outer space? Wow, cool. Maybe they didn't come here after all. Hold on. Sometimes they lock the door when they're down the back. There's another way in onto the building, if you don't mind getting dirty. Well, let's go. Again, B. You scared the life out of me. Sorry, but promise me you won't be grumble guts anymore. It's a deal. Hey, Charlie, thanks for your help. Oh, that's okay. Think of nothing of it. I wasn't really doing anything anyway. Charlie, in the car, please. Oh, trouble. Now, Charlie. My dad, I've got to go. Oh, I almost forgot. Your tickets, free passes. Well, thanks again. Thanks for the tickets. She's really nice. I think I really like Charlie. Come on, babe. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> 